In this video, we're going to go over a few tools in the Retopo workspace to which you can use to fill in either single holes like this or large holes such as this one. For large holes, you would probably want to use R fill. So it's great for filling in individual gaps like that. So you'll see a preview. And I should mention you want to make sure that you're on the proper UV. You know that you are when your mesh is highlighted. If it's somewhat dimmed like that, then you know ahead of time, even though you may have the right mesh layer selected, you don't have the right UV selected. So what will happen is you'll get a seam around it like that. That's not what I want. So I will undo. I'll make sure I'm on the right UV. Now when I click on it, it fills it in perfectly. We could do this also individually. Let me reduce my brush size again. We can also use points and faces. When you see a preview that you like, you can just right click. Once more, large patches like this, the R fill tool is best. Same thing here. If you are using the Add and Split tool, you can use this as well by holding down the Shift key and you'll see a preview just like you would if you had the Points and Faces tool. So you can click to fill holes that way as well. Okay, again, just to hold down the Shift key and I can continue to walk around and fill holes that way. Now, if you were wanting to bridge between two meshes, for example, if you had an opening on the bottom side here, an opening on the top side, and you want to create a bridge between them, then you would go to the Select tool in Edges mode. You have a bridge tool here at the bottom to use, and we have a video that covers that in greater detail. But for filling holes and gaps, those few tools should help get you going. You also happen to have the Cap tool as well. As you can see, it will fill with a large end gone if you hold down the shift key, or otherwise it will try and converge all the edges into one. So it's good for things like uh, closing off the tips of maybe teeth and horns and things of that sort, and also eyeballs as well if you want all triangles at the end. So those are a few tools that you can utilize to fill in gaps in 3D Coats Retopo Workspace. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.